Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by www.learningarabicwithangela.com 100% free Arabic learning resources for everyone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Find me on Facebook, just search for Learning Arabic with Angela to get daily Arabic learning tips and resources in your Facebook feed. Assalamu alaikum, marhaban. Welcome to this lesson in Arabic conversation and grammar revolving around asking and answering basic questions in Arabic and using various question tools. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to utilize the right question tools to ask questions in Arabic and employ the correct pronouns and nouns in conversation, especially in terms of gender. Let's begin by conversation one. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Wa alaikum assalam. And may peace be upon you too. Kayfa haluka? How are you? Bikhair. Alhamdulillah. Good. Thanks God. وَكَيْفَ حَالُكِ أَنْتِ And how are you? أنا بخير I am good ما هذا? What is this? هذا صندوق This is a box لمن هذا الصندوق؟ For who is this box? هذا الصندوق لي. This box is mine. ماذا يوجد في الصندوق؟ What's in the box? في الصندوق صورة. In the box there's a picture. من في الصورة? Who's in the picture? هذا أبي وهذه أمي وهذا أخي. This is my father, this is my mother, and this is my brother. Let's review and analyze. Kaifa is a first question tool, and it means how. Remember, in Arabic, there's no verb to be. So, كيف حالك؟ كيف in this sentence or question includes a, ah, so it includes verb to be in the meaning. كيف حالك؟ How are you? For a man. كيف حالك؟ How are you when addressing a female? Let's look at more examples about كيف؟ كيف تصلي؟ How do you pray؟ كيف أحمد؟ How is أحمد؟ or How is أحمد doing؟ كيف المريض؟ How is the patient؟ or How is the sick person؟ ما ما means what and it's mainly used for non-humans. 
ما هذا؟ What's this? هذا صندوق. We used هذا as a demonstrative pronoun because صندوق is masculine. هذا صندوق. So هذا is masculine and صندوق is a masculine noun. ما هذه؟ What's this? We used هذه because صورة is a feminine noun and it ends with تا مربوطة which is a feminine sign in Arabic. صورة ما هذه؟ هذه صورة من من means who and it's mainly used for humans. من هذا Who's this? هذا أبي This is my father. Notice again we used هذا as a demonstrative pronoun for the masculine because أبي, my father, is a masculine noun. من هذه Who's this? هذه أمي This is my mother. We used هذه because أمي is a feminine noun. أب أبي My father. So we use the يا as a possessive pronoun attaching to the word أب. أم أمي We use the يا as a possessive pronoun attaching to the word أم My mother أمي لمن لمن means for who So we've got لي which means for and من who لمن for who? لمن هذا الصندوق? For who is this box? هذا الصندوق لي. This box is mine. ماذا is a question tool that means what and is mainly used with verbs. ماذا يوجد في الصندوق? What's in the box. You can use the same combination of ماذا plus a verb to ask other questions such as ماذا تأكل? What do you eat or what would you like to eat? ماذا تريد? What do you want? ماذا تعمل? What do you work as or what do you do for a living? في الصندوق صورة. In the box, there is a picture. You can use the same combination starting with a preposition في, which means in, and then add to it, such as في الصفي أستاذ. In the classroom, there is a teacher. في الحقيبة كتاب. In the bag, there is a book. Conversation 2 هل هذا مفتاح؟ Is this a key? نعم هذا مفتاح Yes This is a key أهذا كتاب؟ Is this a book? نعم هذا كتاب Yes This is a book Let's review and analyze هل and a are both 
Particles that are used as question tools in Arabic. In English, there are several ways of expressing hell or a, such as is, are, do, did, has, have, shall, will, can, could. And the typical answer for hell or a is a yes or no answer. Ahada kitab. Is this a book? Hal hadha kitab? The same thing. Is this a book? So the answer would be yes or no. Naam or la. Naam hadha kitab. For example, yes, this is a book. La hadha miftah. No, this is a key. So the answer for hal or a is yes or no, naam or la. Conversation number three. Ayn al kitab. Where is the book? الكتاب في الصندوق The book is in the box أين الكتاب Where is the book الكتاب على المكتب The book is on the desk Let's review and analyze. Aina means where. Aina al kitab. Where is the book? Al kitabu fi sunduq. The book is in the box. Fi means in. For more information about prepositions in Arabic, you can refer to the link in the description box for a detailed video. Another possibility. Ayn al-kitab? Where is the book? Al-kitabu ala al-maktab. The book is on the desk. Ala means on. You can also use Aina plus a verb, such as Aina tusalli, where do you pray? Usalli fil masjid, I pray in the mosque. Aina tada'u kutubaka, where do you keep or where do you put your books? Ada'uha fil maktaba, I keep them in the library. Conversation 4 لماذا تدرس اللغة العربية؟ Why do you study Arabic language? لأنني أحبها Because I love it لما يدرس اللغة العربية؟ Why does he study Arabic language? لأنه يحبها because he loves it متى يبدأ الدرس when does the lesson start الآن now متى ينتهي الدرس when does the lesson finish بعد ساعة after an hour Let's review and analyze لماذا and لما are both question tools that mean why in Arabic and you can use them interchangeably 
The first example was لماذا تدرس اللغة العربية؟ Why do you study Arabic language? لماذا Why The second example was لما لأنني أحبها Because I love it لأن means because And the ya refers to myself لأنني You can also say لأني لأنني أحبها أو لأني أحبها So لماذا and لما can be used interchangeably So لما يدرس اللغة العربية And we can say لماذا يدرس اللغة العربية Both mean why does he study Arabic language لأنه يحبها because he loves it. The ha with لأن refers to him. لأنه because he. متى is a question tool in Arabic meaning when. متى يبدأ الدرس؟ When does the lesson start? الآن means now. In the second example, متى ينتهي الدرس؟ When does the lesson finish? بعد ساعة After an hour. بعد means after. Other examples for متى متى العطلة؟ When is the holiday or when is the day off? متى السفر؟ When is the travel date or when is the journey? Conversation 5 أي كتاب قرأت؟ وأية جريدة قرأت؟ Which book did you read and which newspaper did you read? قرأت هذا الكتاب وتلك الجريدة. I read this book and that newspaper. Let's review and analyze. Ayu and ayatu are both question tools in Arabic that mean which. Ayu is used for both masculine and feminine nouns. However, ayatu is strictly used with feminine nouns. Ayya kitabun qara't. وأية جريدة قرأت Notice that for جريدة which is a feminine noun marked with تا مربوطة at the end which is a feminine sign generally speaking for Arabic we used أية however we could have also used أية so we can say وأية جريدة قرأت so we could either say وأية جريدة قرأت أو وأية جريدة قرأت So once again we can use أيو for both masculine and feminine nouns However أيتو is strictly used with feminine nouns قرأت هذا الكتاب وتلك الجريدة. I read this book and that newspaper. So we can conclude that هذا means this. That is, it's a demonstrative pronoun for the near. While تلك is a demonstrative pronoun for the far. And one more point is that تلك is a 
feminine demonstrative pronoun because jarida is a feminine noun marked by ta marbuta at the end which is generally speaking a feminine sign so let's review the points hada is a demonstrative pronoun used for the masculine while hadhi is a demonstrative pronoun used for the feminine and they're both used for the near and they mean this however dhalika and tilka are used for the far and they mean that dhalika is used for the masculine while tilka is used for the feminine nouns Conversation number six. كم الساعة? What time is it? الساعة السادسة. كم الساعة? It's six o'clock. What time is it? إنها الساعة السادسة. It's six o'clock. بكم الكتاب؟ How much is the book؟ دولار واحد One dollar كم كتابا في الصندوق؟ how many books are in the box? كتاب واحد One book Let's review and analyze كم is a question tool in Arabic that means how many or how much and it's also used to ask about time and about price كم الساعة؟ What time is it? إنها الساعة السادسة It's six o'clock إنها إنا means it is or indeed it is And the ها at the end of إنا is an attached pronoun that refers to الساعة or the hour Also notice for إنها الساعة السادسة بكم الكتاب؟ How much is the book or how much is the price of the book؟ دولار واحد One dollar So in this example, كم was used to ask about the price You can replace الكتاب with any other item بكم الفستان؟ How much is the dress؟ When asking about the number of items, we also use كم, such as كم كتابا في الصندوق So, how many books are in the box? Notice كم كتابا The noun that comes after كم ends with تنوين with فتحة So, it's double فتحة كم رجلا في الصف How many men are in the classroom? So the same, it ends with double فتحة كم كتابا في الصندوق؟ كتاب واحد One book And now let's review all the question tools so far and then we're going to practice about forming questions and then have a quiz at the end. كيف means how. ما is what and it's mainly used for non-human things. من means who and it's mainly used for humans. ماذا means what and mainly it's used with verbs لماذا or لما 
both mean why AU and AYA2 mean which and we said that you can use AU for masculine and feminine nouns alike while AYA2 is only used for feminine nouns HAL and A are both particles and they are used for yes and no questions and the equivalent in English is is, are, do, did, has, have, shall, will, can or could for example Cam is for asking about quantity so it's how many or how much and it's also used for asking about the time and meta means when and aina means where And now let's practice a bit more forming questions in Arabic. And remember, you can always download the free workbook. You'll find the link in the description box of the video. Let's consider the sentence قرأ أحمد الكتاب قرأ أحمد الكتاب It's a verbal sentence. That means Ahmad read the book and it starts with the verb قرأ to ask a yes or no question, we need to use a question tool هل هل قرأ أحمد الكتاب So we place هل at the beginning of the sentence So the sentence remains unchanged We just place هل at the beginning هل plus the sentence قرأ أحمد الكتاب So هل قرأ أحمد الكتاب Did Ahmad read the book? And the possible answers would be yes or no نعم or لا Let's take another example for هل أكل أحمد التفاحة أحمد ate the apple We want to ask did Ahmad eat the apple? What question tool are you going to use? هل So we put هل at the beginning of the sentence هل أكل أحمد التفاحة And then the two possibilities نعم And we have لا So نعم أكل أحمد التفاحة أو لا لم يأكل أحمد التفاحة Moving on to WH questions in Arabic involving question tools like من هو ماذا what متى when أين where and كيف how So it's pretty much the same equation it's going to be placed at the beginning of the sentence and then you will add the sentence and a question mark. So for example, who read the book? Man plus qara al kitab. Man qara al kitab. What did Ahmed read? Mada plus qara Ahmed. Mada qara Ahmed. When did Ahmed read the book? Mata plus qara Ahmed al kitab. Mata qara Ahmed al kitab. Where did Ahmed read the book? Aina qara. أحمد الكتاب How did أحمد read the book? كيف قرأ أحمد الكتاب؟ Let's consider the second example that we gave at the beginning أكل أحمد التفاحة أحمد ate the apple Can you form WH questions using this sentence? I will help you out من أكل التفاحة؟ Who ate the apple? ماذا أكل أحمد؟ What did أحمد eat? متى أكل أحمد التفاحة؟ When did أحمد eat the apple? أين أكل أحمد التفاحة؟ Where did he eat the apple? كيف أكل أحمد التفاحة؟ How did أحمد eat the apple? And now that the explanation is done, I will ask you to listen to the conversation again and concentrate and at the end there's a small quiz to test your knowledge, so stick around please. Let's begin by conversation one. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Wa alaykum as-salam. And may P 
peace be upon you too. كيف حالك؟ How are you? بخير. الحمد لله. Good. Thanks God. وكيف حالك أنت؟ And how are you? أنا بخير. I am good. ما هذا؟ What is this? هذا صندوق. This is a box. لمن هذا الصندوق؟ For who is this box? هذا الصندوق لي. This box is mine. ماذا يوجد في الصندوق؟ What's in the box? في الصندوق صورة. In the box there's a picture. من في الصورة؟ Who's in the picture? هذا أبي وهذه أمي وهذا أخي. This is my father, this is my mother, and this is my brother. Conversation 2 هل هذا مفتاح؟ Is this a key? نعم هذا مفتاح Yes This is a key أهذا كتاب؟ Is this a book? نعم هذا كتاب Yes This is a book. Conversation number three. أين الكتاب? Where is the book? الكتاب في الصندوق. The book. Is in the box. أين الكتاب? Where is the book? الكتاب على المكتب. The book is on the desk. Conversation 4 لماذا تدرس اللغة العربية؟ Why do you study Arabic language? لأنني أحبها Because I love it لما يدرس اللغة العربية؟ Why does he study Arabic language? لأنه يحبها because he loves it. متى يبدأ الدرس؟ When does the lesson start? الآن now متى ينتهي الدرس؟ 
When does the lesson finish? بعد ساعة After an hour Conversation 5 أي كتاب قرأت وأية جريدة قرأت Which book did you read? And which newspaper did you read? قرأت هذا الكتاب وتلك الجريدة. I read this book and that newspaper. Conversation number six. كم الساعة؟ What time is it? الساعة السادسة كم It's الساعة؟ What time is it? إنها الساعة السادسة It's six o'clock بكم الكتاب؟ How much is the book? دولار واحد One dollar كم كتابا في الصندوق؟ How many books are in the box? كتاب واحد One book And now it's time to test your knowledge. Try to find the right question for the answer. Let's start. The first answer is قرأت كتابين I read two books What's the right question for this answer? متى قرأت الكتاب؟ كم كتابا قرأت اليوم؟ هل قرأت كتابين؟ The right question to ask would be كم كتابا قرأت اليوم؟ The next sentence لونها أحمر It's red or it's red in color What's the right question to ask? أين السيارة؟ هل هي سيارة؟ ما لون هذه السيارة؟ The right question would be ما لون هذه السيارة؟ What color is this car? لأنها مغذية Because it's nutritious What's the right question to ask? لما نأكل الخضار؟ لماذا نأكل الخضار؟ متى نأكل الخضار؟ Two possibilities are correct. لما and لماذا. So you can ask لما نأكل الخضار or لماذا نأكل الخضار. It's the same thing. Why do we eat vegetables? And the last sentence. نعم اتصلت به. Yes, I called him. What would be the right question to ask? لما اتصلت به؟ متى اتصلت به؟ أو هل اتصلت به؟ The 
The right question would be هل اتصلت به? Have you called him? Well done. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified of any new videos. Again, find me on Facebook. If you haven't already, just search for Learning Arabic with Angela. Visit the blog www.learningarabicwithangela.com to get free, unlimited downloads and resources in Arabic learning. Thank you and until we meet again in the next video.